What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Check out this weather. Nasty, rainy, huge storms everywhere. There's actually a hurricane right now in the Gulf bearing down on Venice, Louisiana, and I think Eastern Texas. For all y'all that live in that area, we are definitely thinking about you and we'll be the first people to roll out if y'all need help. This video is about cutting my hand. And for those of y'all that don't know, last weekend I was in the Bahamas and I cut my left hand so bad that I actually ended up in the hospital. Now I wanna take the time in this video to show you what we were doing, what led up to me cutting myself. And then I'm gonna show you something awesome that we did to pay it forward to the Bahamians that helped us so much in the Bahamas. They were so helpful that we here in South Florida actually did something to send back over there to pay it forward. And then after that, I'm gonna show you the correct way to clean a fish where you won't end up cutting your hand. So right now, let's take it back to the Bahamas. We're fishing for mutton snapper. We're doing something that I've always wanted to do, which is catch some queen conks, clean them on the boat, and while you're cleaning them, throwing in the scraps and the big mutton snappers will show up and you can catch them. I had never done it before. I had always wanted to do it. Well, we end up not chumming up mutton snappers. We end up chumming up these huge ocean tallies. So let's catch a couple. And when we get back, I'm gonna show you how I cut my hand. But definitely don't skip through this video because I'm gonna show you some processes along the way that will help you greatly. Be a mutton fish. Oh, really? Again. So Gabe's rigging up a rod over here. I'm trying to bust open some conch with a hammer. Floyd's hooked up to a fish right now. Not sure what it is. We have a pile of massive trigger fish behind the boat. We're trying to get through in order to get some mutton. Uh oh. That you hooked up over here? You got a hook up. He has a mutton. For sure. Wait, what you got over there? These things are huge. I, they're like world-class triggerfish. Maybe if we can catch them, all we can get to the mutton. Golly. Joey in Jacksonville would be proud. Oh yeah. <laughs> like these are quality triggerfish. <laughs> Babe, one of the probably number one rules in fishing is you never grab the leader before the fish is in the boat. We got this one now. Yeah. The are on this side of the boat. The are on the other side. Look at this monster. My bad. Yeah, I mean, there's so many here. I don't even know if we can get away from them. The wind is zero. Yeah, I it love is, that. It's cooking out it's here. It's like your amount of fish you've landed in the boat so far with the rod and reel. Okay, you got jokes. <laughs> you Obviously, you and Kelly teamed up. <laughs> Woohoo! It's Team R. Kelly. Team R. Kelly. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've tried throwing past these trigger fish. I've tried. What if we like chum, like throw a bunch of chum up there and then try to throw doing. a bait? Hmm. I was trying to keep them on this side. Oh my God, break the internet. Let's see. Look at that. What's that big fish right there on the surface? Ooh, big old wake. We are trying to figure what that is. That's over there. Take you for a ride. It's definitely. Oh, <gasps> don't know what that is. Definitely. Oh, 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 Oh goodness. No. <laughs> oh, you got off. This Come on. Jig head's a little too small. See ya. I'm gonna get your mutton. Are you fishing for mutton? See, if they didn't come on floor already, you're gonna chew. Throw it out there and go get your mutton. Floyd said, go get your mutton. Okay, set him. Set on it. Oh yes. There we that's go. the mutton. That's a heavy head shake, right? Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. That is looking good. I just let y'all do y'all that for a little while. Triggerfish. You think no so? No way. Oh, he, he might know. Head straight we got up to the top. All you can eat conch buffet. 
Big old fish on the rod. Trigger couldn't eat that big piece of meat. That trigger. Some big triggers down Man. there. You caught another trigger fish? That big? I don't know. That's a head shake of insane. Yeah, you can't be that big, man. That, that dude, you see the head shake on it? That's a big old, his mouth couldn't swallow that. Uh-uh. Did you just, what did you just eat? What's the pistol? You just ate that. Yep. Show him the pistol. You just ate the mm -hmm. wiener. Oh. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with the wiener. <laughs> Extra testosterone. You bringing that mutton fish yet? I'm working on it. I like mutton fish. I'm going to start calling them mutton fish at home. Gosh. Come on. I caught Moby Dick of a trigger fish. I can't flip him. He's I'm not heavy. touching the line. <laughs> Look at that. Big old giant, what we call ocean tally. He's a big one. They're huge. Floyd, you got some guys that'll enjoy eating these? Yeah, man. Trust me. That's the best meal there. It oh, is. I love it. it Minced they turbot. Really nope. Turbot. That's what y'all call them is turbot, right? Look how yeah. pretty it's iron. All right, so now that we caught a bunch of those ocean tallies, we had already spearfished all day long. We're heading back in, and once we get back to the dock, we had to clean the boat. It got dark. I said, Kelly, let's wake up in the morning clean the fish so we have good light for the video then we'll continue on with our day which was i think we were going to go deep dropping that's when the problem really started so my brain's on what are we going to do this day when it should have been on solely cleaning the fish i want you to just watch this i'm not really going to talk you through it but i want you to watch at the bitter end when i cut myself and pay attention to what i did wrong because at the end of this video i'm going to clean another fish with a really bad hand and show you how to do it properly so pay attention this is going to be terrible on me for editing because the sound is horrible y'all watch me clean this fish and when we get back i'm going to keep on explaining and i promise you it's going to be worth your time watching this entire video So what I did wrong when I was cutting that last pin bone, my left palm was where it needed to be. My right hand was doing what was wrong, which was cutting towards my hand. Now I have done millions of fish in my life probably. I would at least say thousands and thousands just like that. But an ocean tally skin is literally like leathery concrete It's the best way I can explain it. It's super leathery, but hard like concrete. And I just did what I did. Now, as soon as I cut myself, Fabian, the dock master, like just like that, called a driver, got us there, we went to the hospital. I'm not gonna show you that whole process because the doctor actually asked me not to film. He said I could film my hand. It was a nasty process. He cleaned my hand thoroughly, ended up putting 11 stitches in it. And the second I was done, they gave me a prescription. My driver took me to the pharmacy. Let me tell you all about that Bahamian hospital right there so professional treated me like gold everybody was so nice the stitches cost the stitches the whole entire everything i just did cost me 350 dollars in the crooked united states that would be about three thousand dollars and if i paid with insurance even more just goes to show don't ever be scared to travel we're in amongst like a covid you know breakout they call it they just treated me like gold in that hospital. Not one person looked at me wrong. In and out, got my stitches, 350 bucks cash. We can go deep dropping now. Actually, no, we gotta go to the pharmacy. Pharmacy, one is right um, down the road. Yeah, I will tell you in the Bahamas though, 
These crazy guys drive on the wrong side of the road. You all have it. No, you guys drive on... You all, you all have it wrong. The Brit taught us in the right way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they got a KFC right there. Yeah. That's my kid's favorite food. Yeah, you're basically downtown. You're in the downtown. Yeah. Well, well, the banking and all of that. The true Bahamians, these hardworking people, they're super, super friendly, super nice, and they treat you like gold. My driver came out, was waiting on me when I walked out of the hospital. <laughs> We got to go get some antibiotics and I guess he said something for inflammation. Yeah. My doctor was from the Philippines and I'm going to play you the video of him stitching me up. <laughs> we had a, we're sitting there, he's stitching me and we're getting, we're having a conversation about ciguatera, which is a disease that you can get or some, I don't know if it's a disease or a bacteria that you get that gets you really sick from eating certain fish yeah. in the Bahamas talk about all kinds of stuff so we're headed to the house all right let's start this over again <laughs> let's take a retake of this morning can we go fishing now I don't know it mean. was your fault because you were rushing me how was it my fault i don't know what my fault i, I, hey. captain. I can't elbows <laughs> yeah. customs has to give you a body cavity search <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just yeah. got one in there. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you say that. Let's go Take fishing. <laughs> we can start over again. Take care. Hey, bae, can we go, can we go fish? Did you clean the rest of the fish? Yeah, but I did leave one hog just in case. So anyhow, we come back to Florida. My brother, dear meat, he's getting better from COVID. COVID literally about took him out. And I called him and said, hey, we need to go kill a hog because when I was in the Bahamas, I asked Fabian what he really loves. And he said, man, I would love some wild hog meat. You guys, Tyler, my brother, Blue Gabe, and dear me for dinner, Robert Arrington, went to go search for a hog. Myself, Sarah, aka Deer Mom, and the two chitlins are waiting in the buggy. But we got a big old storm right ahead of us right now. And I think we're getting wet. Yep, right there. that didn't go as planned that storm moved in on us so fast Robert and Tyler and I were actually walking to it, the backfield and the hayfield to look for hogs and there ended up not being any there so we took off running back to the buggy where princess over here did you think you were gonna get wet or what oh when me and Sarah were on the <laughs> buggy yeah that storm was a brewing and we were in the center of it check out those glasses y'all they reflect the bad blue light from... Computer. How am I supposed to concentrate when she's wearing glasses like that when we're both sitting here <laughs> working? Anyhow, so we get back on the buggy. Obviously, we had the kids. It's about to rain, and we're like a mile from camp, so we're hauling butt running, but y'all have heard me say a hundred times, I'm opportunistic, so of course I've got my rifle unloaded but in my hand, ready to go. When we come around the corner, both Robert and I saw it immediately, and this happens. That's how you do it, boy. There you go. I just ate it. <laughs> hey, Fabian, that one's for you. Holy hey, folks. everybody over in West End and Port Lakaya, Freeport, thanks for taking care of my little brother. That's why we have this ranch. That's why we do this. Thanks for taking care of us. He's been taking care of me. I helped take care of him. That's how the world works. Love y'all. Talk about last minute, man. <laughs> I told you to stay ready. Oh, my. Gosh, I just ate it. With the busted hand. Yeah, with with the busted hand. All right, we got a storm coming right now. We got the two little kids, obviously, Ari and Emma. It's Emma's birthday, y'all. Wish Emma a happy birthday. We're gonna load this hog and we'll see y'all at the truck. We changed our mind. Robert's gonna cut its, you know what, he's off to try to take some of that boar hog taste out of it. But you know what, a lot of people like that taste in a male hog. So I think they'll be happy in the Bahamas no matter what. That's a better hog than I thought. That's a rank four. Oh, those were devastating. Dude, come here close. You see those teeth right there? 
They're not three inches long. They're an inch long, and they would devastate a dog. Come on, Tyler. Yeah, what are you doing, Zach? <laughs> Come on, grab that thing. Grab a leg. There. There we go. Hey, last minute, you always got to be ready. That's what it's all about, you know what I mean? Most people, they're like, oh, it's over with. No, always stay ready. So we just got back, and the second we pulled under this building, it started flooding. Robert and Sarah, Ari and Emma had to take off to get home. Me, Tyler, and Kelly are gonna clean this hog. Now, we're not gonna clean this one on camera, but I do have a new video that I will put in the link below. The only way you can find it is going in the link below this video and clicking on it. It's a how-to cake, clean, and quarter a wild hog. And I literally show you everything. So if you wanna watch us clean one, go to that video and watch it. Make sure you leave a comment and like the video because it was actually a lot of work. All right, I'm gonna teach y'all how to clean a hog fish and show you how not to cut yourself. Y'all have already seen, I've done a number on that thumb. The reason I did a number on my thumb, I'm about to show you. Anytime you start to clean a fish, come in like this and typically cut away from you, correct? Yes. I came down right here, cut it like I've always cut them. Now here's where the problem started to happen. See how I'm cutting back towards myself? I've showed you all in videos before where you come in here and cut that pin bone. Did you see that? I cut it. What I did the other day was I came up here and I tried to cut it right here. Well, because it was so hard, I went, oh, I am. Just like that. If I would have, and I wasn't really rushing. I was rushing, but we're also, you got to think when we're cleaning fish, we're also talking to the camera. And Kelly and I often are looking at it like, is she holding it right? And I'm, th she's thinking, am I holding it? So we're doing a lot more than just cleaning a fish. If I would have taken the time, pulled that fillet up and popped that pin bone, I then could have just continued on, just like I'm doing now, cutting away from me and nothing would have ever happened. But I made that one mistake and it cost me a trip to the hospital. Now the doctor told me, do not get my hand wet. We just got home, look at the boat. That's a bad mammer jammer. They're actually cleaning it. He said, don't get your hand fishy. <laughs> well, I've never been good at listening. I got that right. And this is so hard to do without my thumb. But I'm gonna show y'all, I can do it. Look at that. Oh. A hogfish fillet is actually really, really fat, like this way, like a crappie. You guys, check out the catfish. So many of them. That's insane. You just threw that overboard and we just heard a big slosh of chaos going down there. But do you think they'll eat this piece right here? Oh yeah. Hold on, let me get a couple more trimmings. Give him a little love from the Bahamas. This hogfish had a lot of fat. Yeah, Looks like a gag grouper. He was getting ready for winter. Winter in the Bahamas. All right. Let's do it right here and out there. All them catfish. Boy, old Timmy Hampton would be in heaven with all those catfish. Shout out Kentucky. Just like that, that's a wrap, y'all. Kelly and I are sitting here working. It's 10, 19 p.m. Just got the kids to bed, and tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., I'm driving to Fort Lauderdale to make my most expensive purchase ever. I even had to take a loan from Kelly. What, are you making it rain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I don't mean to dramatize cutting my hand, but I know a lot of people have cut themselves and I know there's a bunch of you young men and women that are learning the trade of cleaning fish and hopefully this video will help you not cut yourself. 
try your best to not cut towards your hand even if you think you're good because trust me when i say kelly's cut herself my brother's everybody i know that's ever cleaned a fish or a deer or a hog or a squirrel has cut themselves hey but play with knives get cut play with sharks get bit show me a shark bite where's it at shark bite hoo ha ha looking pretty nice now two years later all right y'all this video is ending I'm looking forward to making the next one because it might have this purchase that I'm making tomorrow in it. If not, it'll be in the one after that. Who knows? But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.